Yusuf Al-Khalidi's plea to the chief rabbi of France in 1899, urging Jews to abandon their aspiration in Palestine for the sake of peace, echoed a sentiment deeply rooted in Islamic theology and history. Embedded within Islamic holy texts, particularly the Quran and Hadith, is a pervasive and vehement anti-Semitic ideology that continues to shape attitudes and actions toward Jews. The Quran portrays Jews as deceitful, treacherous enemies of Muslims. Their rejection of Muhammad's prophethood earning them divine condemnation. Verses depict Jews as distorters of truth, disobedient to Allah, and deserving of punishment in both this life and the hereafter. The text further incites animosity by portraying Jews as inherently opposed to Muslims, urging believers not to befriend them and predicting their ultimate humiliation and punishment. Moreover, Islamic tradition, as documented in the Hadith, amplifies this hostility by prophesying a violent eschatological conflict in which Muslims will eradicate Jews to bring about the end times. Such teachings not only demonize Jews but also sanctify their destruction as a righteous act. In light of these theological underpinnings, the establishment of the State of Israel is perceived as an affront to Islamic supremacy, contradicting the Quranic vision of Jews living in subservience to Muslims. This perception fuels anti-Semitic sentiments and justifies violence against Jews as a means of fulfilling divine will. The deep-seated nature of Islamic anti-Semitism poses significant challenges to peace and coexistence in the Middle East rendering negotiations and compromise futile in the eyes of devout adherents. As long as these theological beliefs persist, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict will remain entrenched in a narrative of religious enmity and divine sanction for violence against Jews. In confronting the scourge of Islamic anti-Semitism, it is imperative to recognize its theological roots and work towards promoting mutual understanding and tolerance. Only through education, dialogue, and a rejection of hateful ideologies can a path towards lasting peace and reconciliation be forged in the region.